tell you guys about our awesome news. Our phone cases are now officially for sale. We've talked about it on social media. We've talked about it a little bit in our video. And they are now for sale starting today. There is the E and E. It's royal blue. Has a rubber sleeve in that, in, in this one. And then there is the rainbow one. Ellie is using this one. So she has this on here, but it says we're all in this together, E and E, with the rainbow. Um, the link will be down below in the description box. The sale is only running for 14 days. That's it. And in those 14 days, there's a limited amount of this, and there's a limited amount of this. Once they run out, they're gone. You can never get them again. We're not making them again. The company that does it, they're not making them again. Click the link down below and it will give you a list of all the types of cell phone brands that they have. They have iPhone, Samsung, um, iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, they have edges, they have... Go and check out the phones. It'll tell you pricing, shipping, when you can get them, like how long it takes to ship. All the details will be there on the website and it will also list all of the phones all the styles, limited time. I just wanted to announce that, let you guys know. If you have any questions, you can comment them down below or you can ask at the website. Hey, good morning. I'm starting the video off by myself at home. Not even dressed, I mean I am dressed, but like not ready for the day. It is 10.18 a.m. and the parents, my parents and Ellie's parents, Everybody's parents are at a loose school right now. They have a teacher conference. So like if you don't know what a teacher conference is, there it's pretty much literally a thing you sit down at school and then the teacher talks about your kid. <laughs> and me and Stitch just had a little argument because he ran upstairs, all the way upstairs, and started eating a funnel that goes in a cabinet downstairs. And I don't know how a funnel got upstairs. But I think it was in Ellie's room because she was like making a stress ball or whatever. So yeah, he is being a really big butt right now. And I'm sitting here doing school. I am making a presentation for science. So this is what it is, the nature of problems. So I'm literally doing Florida's extinction and threatened whatever so only have two things done so far here we'll play the slides for you see ready so you have like i've done this so far Woo! and then somehow this disappears and the m stays there it doesn't make any sense i'm so mad and then this and that one that one and that one I'm gonna finish school. I'm gonna try and get this presentation presentation done. Then I'm completely done with school. And I reorganized my thing. Like I rewrote it on my schedule. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 days of school left for Ellie. Wait, actually 15 because Wednesday's over. <laughs> so 15 days of school left and I have one lesson in science and I'm working on it right now. So science will be done forever. Then I have social studies, eight lessons, nine lessons in math, and then eight lessons in English. Ah, I've got to kill myself. But yeah, Ellie should be getting home from school and my I, it's just me and my mom home. Mark's picking up Ellie from school right now. We'll ask them, we'll ask Ellie and Mark and my mom to see how the parent conference went. And then I just realized that our private tonight is 7.30 to 8.30 and open gym ends at nine o'clock. So I only have 30 minutes to tumble with Savannah, but she'll be there so during my private. So yeah, that's kind of how it's gonna happen today. I didn't really get any, I only have foundation on right now. I didn't put any mascara on cause I didn't feel like it. And plus I was gonna get in the shower, but then we have to go pick up my screws prescriptions prescriptions i tried this stuff i don't even know it's like weird i'm very strange i don't know i tried that on but i have to go pick up a bigger bottle and stuff and then then i have to get shampoo and everything else but look i finished science 
everything is done, so we kind of, I'm just excited to, oh, oh, okay, 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 perfect. I'm excited for this day because we leave for Indy and school finishes, Indy, 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 and then Indy, 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 Indy. How did the parent teach conference go? It was a, it was um, I forget what they call it. So, oh, something and they go over what they've done for the year like they save all their work that's why none of their work comes home and they go over all their papers and they show us um what the work they've done for the year so you'd even get to Here. technically talk to the teacher about how ellie's been doing in school no you don't talk to the teacher at all So, Fusion Scooters sent the girls these free scooters and this thingy mid bob. Can you push me? And Ellie is trying to figure out how to ride this. <clears throat> okay, ready? That's a brake in the front. <laughs> I don't think that's how you ride it. And yeah, so I can ride these too. <laughs> There's Emma. Working it. <laughs> hey! I got it! <laughs> you can do it that way. At least ride in the scooter. Trying some bunny hops. <laughs> oh my gosh! How come I'm 40 and I can ride it better than both of you? Because I'm scared like I'm gonna stub my toes. <laughs> you make it go. So thank you, Fusion, for sending these free scooters. Thank you. So now, enjoy us playing with them. Oh yeah, and we'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to go get your own fusion scooter. We just fixed the boo-boo. One band-aid down, many to come, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mark's riding it. Get it, Mark. Bunny hop. Bunny hop. I ain't got ten shoes on. All right, many more accidents to come. Stay tuned. Next one's Emma. Okay guys, so I'm going upstairs to get ready. We're done playing because it's really hot outside. Well, not because it's hot outside, because um, our parents are cleaning shells right now. And plus, Ellie got hurt like five million times on it. So, um, I am getting ready for cheer. I don't know if Ellie's going because she said she didn't want to go. So, I'm getting ready. I have my hair up in a pony already and I put my mascara on, but I don't really need makeup for cheer, but I mean like still. Okay, so we're sitting out, I don't know. 
We're sitting outside and my mom wanted to show you, this is how we clean our shelves. So we have a bucket of water and then we have acid right there. Mark has his gloves on and then another bucket of water. So what do you do, Mark? So first you dip it in ice acid and then you put it in the bucket of water and then it comes clean. And then it, you give it to it her. It really come clean. You gotta clean them. Yeah. You still gotta scrub it with the breath. Then you give it to her and then you have to scrape it with like a screwdriver like that. And, and then the it comes out. Holes off. And then look at this shell. It looks like an eye because look how dark it is. It's a <laughs> shark's eye. And the muriatic acid stinks. Really bad. So we have a fan. So what? It can kill you. It can kill you. Yeah. You can't breathe. And then the ones we don't want, we throw out in there. We throw out your big shell? They're broken. The big shell. Oh, I'm not taking that in the house. Yeah, they wanted to see an update, so that's the oh. cleanest I can get it. You guys are wondering about the update on that giant shell we found, and we tried to get it as clean as we could, but this is just very old and it doesn't have any color to it, so that's the cleanest we can get. So the ones we don't want, we just kind of throw them over here and it's just for decoration. But look how big he is, he's huge. And there is the biggest whelk we have, and yes. it's pretty. Won't come any more clean. So there he is. It is. That's how dirty it is. Now look at him, he's pretty. That's a pretty one. That one. I'm sitting on my couch and it is 4.59, almost five o'clock. And we have nothing to do. My mom is, I don't even know what she's doing. I think she's outside cleaning her whatever. Ellie has a loose tooth. Flip it out. Flip it out. I want to see. Why did you say ew? Because I hate loose teeth. Ew. No, and then look. These. Loose. Yeah. Loose. You're going to lose loose. them all at the same time. Ow, that one hurt. That one's really loose. And this one's loose. <gasps> You're going to lose teeth at all the same time. You're going to look so weird. Oh, hi -ho. Hello. <laughs> So much sugar in this. Anyways, we're at Popeyes and we're getting ready to eat before we go to um, Tumbling. So we got chicken tenders, Ellie got chicken and fries and everything else. What? It's raining tomatoes. Hey, look, you got a book. Aww. Oh, look at the kitty cat. I got this one. You get a free book, Ellie. Wait, Catnip. Get this one? Catnip. Wally's tail wagged at the sight of a soft, sweet mouse. His nose twitched. The gentle golden retriever slowed to a walk. He crept quietly over the wooden planks of the fishing pier. Closer and closer and closer. And closer. He pounced. Stop. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. So we just got done eating pot pies, chicken, and it was not very good. Yeah, no. Guys. So I think I would have rather ate Chick fil A. <laughs> Guys, oh, yes, you ate Chick-fil-A. Did you like yours, Mark? No. I mean, it's the same stuff. It's just, it's too much bready. All right, and everybody guess what Ellie can do. <laughs> that was it. Are you trying to be a crow? Seagull. A seagull? Wow, pure talent. <laughs> Alex, no more booster seat. Oh, She's officially oh, grown up. Oh. And I can do this. Do not do that, kids. Booyah! At 7.30 today till 8.30 and then tryouts are next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yay! Do I have to go to school? 
Yeah, yeah you're going to school. So. You only got two weeks left. Who cares? I got all my shells cleaned and put away. She and her shells cleaned and put away. And now we are headed to tumbling class for the excitement of my life. We're making a pit stop to Walmart neighborhood, neighborhood market. <laughs> this is what I deal with every day. Ellie's picking her tooth out. Emma won't get down. <laughs> Your face is a little red. She chokes me when she does it. Did you just knock your tooth out? Karate chopper. Yeah, we need the beer section. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that tailbone. Did <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, time out, time out, time out. Ellie. What part of it fell? <laughs> There's your tooth, her tooth <laughs> and we just got home. We thought Ellie's tryouts were next week. So the tryout thing said like level one this time, level two, level three, level four, and they all had separate times. And I had been asking all the time, what is Ellie trying out for and what is Emma trying out for? <clears throat> and they said level two. So I assumed that she was trying out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for level two. Well, she had to go tonight from 6 to 7.30, I think. Yeah, 7.30. For her age group, which was 5 to 8. I did not know that. I got a call from one of the moms that I'm friends with. And she's like, um, why isn't Ellie here? And I'm like, um, for what? So anyway, she showed up a half hour late. She had to be rushed into her tryout, so I am not sure how it went at all. She was not prepared at all. So anywho, so she had her tryouts till 7.30, then they had their private from 7.30 to 8.30, and then um, they had open gym until 9.30. So we've been at the gym all day, so that's kind of what we did. I don't like gym nights, I really don't like, I mean, if they cheer and they're gonna cheer, they're gonna be dropped off and we're gonna leave and go do our own thing. Um, we'll find out this weekend uh, if Ellie's getting a call back and if not, then um, she'll just be tumbling and she won't be cheering uh, next year. So it just depends on what we hear. They said that we're supposed to know by Sunday. So if she doesn't make the team, then Stitch. she will um, just continue with privates, maybe at that gym or a different gym, not quite sure. But um, we'll see. We'll see what she, what they say if she gets called back for a older team level two. Is doing school because she has like three weeks left of school, 15 days. Um, Ellie gets out of school in 15 days. So Emma is working a day and night to get her schoolwork done. Ellie is eating her ice cream snack, which a lot of you ask, why does Ellie have to have ice cream every night? She doesn't have to have it, she just wants to have it. So that is her snack of choice before bed, no matter where we are. So it's kind of easy. She eats cereal, 
She eats cereal every single morning and then she eats ice cream every single night. So it's kind of funny. Emma, what do you have for snack? Sometimes things, sometimes not, but sometimes it's like, what do I usually have? Ice cream sometimes. Yeah. Muffins or a pop tart. But we don't get pop tarts anymore. Yeah, we haven't in a while. Cookies, donuts, waffles. Whatever looks good in the cabinet. <laughs> sometimes you eat cereal for a snack. Yeah. What do you have for a snack, Mr. I'm eating my wife's lemon cookies? Not any of cookies. Yeah, I can come over and smell your breath right now and it's lemon. I know for a fact it is. Yeah. Don't let him fool you. What'd you eat? When? Just now you're getting it out of your teeth. Oh, a piece of ice cream? No. So anyway, so Emma is done with science and math completely. No, oh. science and health. Oh, science and health. She has math social studies, and English to go. Because Emma's schedule, Emma's school is work at your own pace. You don't have to even complete school by 625. You can actually keep going till next school year, which is September. So um, you're never really behind. She just doesn't know how to keep herself focused. Yeah, I'm watching SpongeBob. <laughs> right. So anyways, it's been a fun of Apple day. Last minute things that pop up like those tryouts drive me crazy because I have OCD when I schedule stuff, but we deal with it. The question of the day is going to be, what is your snack that you eat every night before bed? Emma said Pop-Tarts or whatever. Whatever thing looks good in the cabinet. Ellie eats ice cream. Look at her killing that cone. Ellie eats ice cream every single night. Mark, what do you have for a snack? Before bed. Lemon cookies? Something like that, probably, if I do one. Or popcorn, you used to eat popcorn a lot. I don't ever eat a snack, ever. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And the question of the day was, what do you eat for a midnight snack or bedtime snack? See you guys tomorrow. You're Bye. Music, Bye. You tear me to pieces, so where does it come from? Seem that keeps playing on repeat, ignores the rule of thumb. Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from?